Welcome back to Bridgeburn of 412, Place Bloodborne. So in our last episode, we finished off the one reborn. Came back here, threw a level in. Um, just to keep up with where we are at this time, we've got Vitality at 35, Endurance at 30, and Strength at 35. Um, right now, Endurance doesn't seem to be a problem, so we're probably going to get Vitality and Strength up to 40 and then see if, uh, if our endurance is becoming a problem throw some more in there okay so we are ready to advance so we're going to go back to Advent Plaza and we're going to get the passageway to Nightmare of Mensis which is um, uh, one of our last areas in the game proper before the DLC and finishing the bosses off at the end of the game. So here we are, Advent Plaza. So here's where we took down the one reborn. So, head up to stairs. And you're going to see uh, see our buddy here. The Mensis cage on his head. And you see all the petrified students of Mensis sitting around. Okay. And this will launch you out into um, the lecture hall. Second floor. So, um, we did the first floor um, in a previous episode. So this floor is the top. So we've, we've done that part down there. So like we did down there, we're going to go ahead and open every part and see all the little traps and goodies in the second floor. Sedatives are going to be of great importance later on in the game. Yeah, there he is. Glad two sweeps does the trick on those guys. Sneak it around. Pardon my phone. Hey, those guys are gonna throw a bunch of spit at us or whatever it is they're throwing. I don't want to think about. Like your buddies on the bottom floor, they have these big old arms. Like plastic man arms. Get your bullets. You go crazy over there. There is a chunk down here. It's a good farming place for bullets.
But that is not all the goodies. So, we're going to continue on. The note. Oh, you don't have to hit any of these notes, but this tells you the three thirds chords if you're trying to piece together the story in your first game. First time through. Do not hit that door, that will take you to the Nightmare of Mensis. Quite ready for that yet. Open this door. This is this side. Uh, way over here, there will be another chest. One, two, three, and we will be getting four eventually down the road. So we can carry up to 23 vials at this point. Should we need 23? There's Sneaky Pete up there on the ceiling. I'm not going to worry about him right now. Okay, so uh, this giant is a little bit tricky because he has big old flaming hands of fire that do a ton of damage. So, light arc is our standard practice. Get on the hit. Don't get greedy. down this hatch and we're going to get some well-deserved vengeance. But first we got to talk to him. This is Spider Patches. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I scared you a little bit, didn't I? Be. You cannot be. I am. No, you didn't. Lord Amidara? Mm-hmm. Oh, how did this come to... Yeah, you beg for life. Do you think you... Of course, I think it'll be you. Now, well, and he will give you no Such. the anti-clockwise oh, metamorphosis, me <laughs> and then get rid of him. That was uncharitably done. You're uncharitably done. <laughs> and then get the uh, great one's wisdom. Okay, so that gave us another tier of anti-clockwise metamorphosis, so st stamina goes up to 15, so we'll be swapping this 10 out and putting the 15 in, that's the chance we get. And you can open this door, and here we are on the first floor again, if you remember. Go ahead back, go back up the ladder. is the top floor of the lecture building. So, done and done. Now we're going to go here and we're going to get the lamp. We're going to run to the lamp, but uh, we're not going to do this area yet. We are going to go back and do the upper cathedral ward. This sucks you through. Just like uh, on the first floor took us to the Nightmare Frontier, this one's taking us to the Nightmare of Mensis. Just advance through the cave. The crazy petrified skulls and faces. Keep on moving. You the creepy crying baby in the background. Get this room. And then they uh, this level. Just to be more irritating, they throw the uh, Worms out at us. And then there's the lamp up there. Oh, forgot this guy. So, 
three chunks, so you definitely don't want to miss that guy. Got the frenzied cold blood. And get behind this thing, because they're going to start shooting frenzy, frenzy darts at you. So we're going to go back to Hunter Stream. I don't think we have enough for a level. Uh, we'll check and see. Maybe there's something we can sell. Hey, we do have enough. Just enough. How about that? So, let's go ahead and plop it into strength. Okay, now you'll see we have five inside. So, you, you want to go to this next part with no insight because there are... Um, there are the brain sucker things. So don't be carrying any in sight with you. I don't think I've checked my repair on this yet. For a bit. Yeah. Since we're here, let's go ahead and check our gems. Just to double check. I always double check. In the Nightmare of Mensis, we'll be getting our second uh, plus 18 gem. So that is done. So now we have the key of the Upper Cathedral Ward, so that's where we're going next. So come to Cathedral Ward. And if you recall, uh, quite a few episodes back, we took this door to the right. Uh, from the from the lamp, and we went both up to the top to get the I think it was the Radiant Hunter badge, and then we went down to get to the little city. Work our way around. She ain't doing very well. She will get progressively worse, as we'll see. Yeah, she's she's losing it as well. Okay, so we're gonna head this way. echoes at this point, or many echoes at this point. Just kind of get around tiny here. Dip the ladder. It's close. So these guys will take care of. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom. So now we got the key for this. We got this dropping into the cage, if you recall, in Yargul's Unseen Village. And now we are here. Um, these things generally you're going to want to avoid. They hit you with frenzy. And they're pretty super annoying. So, head out to the bridge. really use that. It kind of is an invisibility thing. Some people use them for the winter lanterns. These guys are tricky because they come right one on right against the other. Oops, I push the wrong button. That doesn't work. If you push the wrong button, sports fans, um, surprisingly, you don't want to shoot. Shoot up magic. 
things. And with the levels again, that those couple steps kept me from getting my visceral. But it all worked out. So again, no need to hit these guys. All they're going to do is give you frenzy. So this is the lamp that will take you back to the hunter's dream. We are ready to advance to Upper Cathedral Ward. Keep your gun out. Actually, no. We're going to um, come around here. There's going to be a bunch of birds. There's going to be an item back here. Grab our friends of cold blood. A visceral in this guy. One would be out here, because there's a brain sucker in there that I want to pick up on. stronger in here than when we faced them before, so every time we can get a backstab, go for it. Get your choir guard. Okay. So you hear them plip plopping around. Those are the those are the brain suckers. So they are they are out in the boat. Obviously, this is a trap, so, you know, be ready. There's going to be a wolf that's going to jump through this window. Yeah. I'm just going to grab the thing to get the wolf to jump through. These wolves are pretty beefy. Clipper plopper behind this door. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get through the door and hit him. I think he's just far enough away. Yeah. So we'll be getting him from the other side. That door, I'm pretty sure that's locked from this side. It's open from this side. that because it used to be every time you every time you went somewhere it would turn off like every time you used a lamp it would turn off as I recall okay now this is gonna be a load of crap and we are going to utilize this doorway like we did way back in Yarnum um, they're kind of hard to see but there are two wolves up on that chandelier one at the top one on the side over there. So when you come down here, it will fall. And not hurt them. So we want them to come up and run. Oops, those statues will cause trouble. And bring them to this door. And as you recall, the way we... For some reason there's a sound bug in this hallway. super hard, and, oh, and if they can clip the wall, it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander, <laughs> punch me right in the mouth. Okay. On my first playthrough, I can't tell you how many times I died here. 
because what happens is they chase you up and you panic and you end up like back here in this corner and you're stuck between the door. There's two of them, they come from either side, it just isn't anywhere. Okay, so there are those three, and there's going to be one more down here, pathing around. Um, this door I do not think we can open from the side. We gotta go down. I say coming down here because I can't really see anything. And my memory is terrible, so I can't really remember where everything is down here. And you can hear the clipper plopper over there. Um, so you should just come this way and try to work this side. Use that rally. Rally is a friend in Bloodborne. in here and smoky and creepy looking. Okay, so we are going to um, that is a wandering nightmare trap. Um, well, he's going to come this way. <laughs> Get a couple chunks. Normally he runs the other way because uh, they want you to jump through this doorway. There's a plipper plopper brain sucker on the other side of the door. So, and I don't think you can clip this wall. Um, well, I take that back. You can clip this wall. So, new strat for here clip the wall, kill the brain sucker, save the world. tricky because there's going to be a couple uh, a couple brain suckers up there but first we're going to wander this way and get all this stuff but you can see there's a brain sucker there and he will uh, throw a um, a spell on you so normally what I do is I dodge the spell and try to get him that spell off He will put the uh, circle of death around you where you get par paralyzed. Uh, blindfold cap that works with the choir gear. We got earlier a lot of advanced knowledge here. And the pearl slug, chalice dungeon item. And here's our shortcut door. Here's where we killed the wolves. And there's where we went down the stairs. So now we got a shortcut. Should there be any mishap? Of course, the brain suckers respawn. Um, so we'll take that into consideration. Okay, so there's going to be one guy right there. Now, um, the thing is, is if you go, you got to go a little bit faster than normal to get your backstab because the other guy's going to run up. Orphanage key. Apparently, I wanted to celebrate that, so there you go. And then in here is where the plipper plopper was from the other side. He's back down there. Um, oh, I'm sorry, no, this was the plipper plopper who was behind. We tried to uh, clip this door. Here's where the wolf jumped through. Um, so so you come down here, uh, and then we're going to end up going right back down to the bottom. I'm still here in the brain sucker, and I'm trying to remember where he is. Oh, I think he's down here around this corner. This way on the bottom floor. 
areas. Watcher badge. We need to advance the story. So that is a requirement. And then spit you out over here. There's a little carpet. Is. So I guess we could have gone either way. There are the shards of broken chandelier. Get your ritual blood again. Chalice dungeon item. Orphanage key gets you here. gesture that is crucially important here in a moment. So this gate is your way back to the land. So all I have to share. So we cleared all of that area. This is where we will fight the uh, Celestial Emissary. Um, we have enough for a level. Celestial Emissary is not really that difficult, so we're just going to keep going here. We are not going to drop in over there after the Celestial Emissary, but Bolt Paper is great for these, uh, for these dudes. So go ahead and flay them on. Basically, one of these guys is the boss. So, you can get surrounded. So, yeah, so this guy is the boss right here. He will see the bar on the boss is finally taking damage. He will eventually transform. And he's one of the big dudes. Just uh, get yourself topped off. Thin the masses. You see, he is like, possibly the easiest boss ever in the game. With the pinwheel. Okay, so we got our fourth communion rune, so that will allow us to have four extra vials. Okay, and there is a lamp right here. Um, there's nothing up around here. But I always check, because I, oh, I, I don't trust myself to remember. I thought we were supposed to get an emote around here somewhere. Um, so let me return to the Hunter's Dream. And Celestial Emissaries, we can now cross off our list of bosses. And get a couple levels out of it. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. St or at least one. Yeah, we'll only get one. Um, 
Might as well just keep it on strength right now. Okay. Um, what was it? 35, 36? 35, 36. What garbage do we have that we can sell? Do we have anything for 10,000 that we can sell? That I'm never going to use. I never use this knight stuff. Um, blood tin stuff. Uh, let's just get we'll use those to to pad our level Welcome. advancement. Very well, let me Might as well pump strength to uh forty. Farewell. Okay. So there are the Celestial Emissaries and Upper Cathedral Ward. We'll be heading to a another boss in our next episode up there. But thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time as Bridgeburn 412 plays Bloodborne, our 100% walkthrough. <laughs>